Hi everyone, welcome back to the HeapZip channel. In this quick video, I am going to show you how to write a virus in Java, indeed a funny one. So this virus, um, <coughs> here you can see the source code, uh, blocks uh, keyboard and mouse and then I start to manipulate the screen by producing uh, numerous random uh, screen message. So this is also a cross-platform virus. So after the compilation, you can run it on any uh, standard uh, platform and operating system. So this sample code shows you how you can uh, perform, how you can basically write some funny viruses and even real-world viruses, ransomware and malware, you know, and via the help of Swing and key event libraries in Java. So please note that this video and the whole content of my channel are only for educational purposes because you need to learn how these things work in order to be able to protect yourself. So uh, without uh, killing more time, I show you how it works and I've been tested on my own local machine. But be careful, uh, try to don't use it on your basically uh, current system. Just try to create a sandbox machine for testing virus if you want to test it on your own. So here is the funny uh, virus class. So in this uh, area here, I obtain, uh, <coughs> basically here I obtain the victim the potential user or victim screen size I generate a random number because I need it later on so here is a, a first block or the first method which is called block all and uh, <clears throat> this method is responsible to create crazy moves with mouse and uh, uh, and basically entering random number here is zero uh, to to the uh, any open window, any other programs, even other uh, programs open such as editors, browser, and so on. And the next method or pop-up method here is responsible to create uh, basically uh, show uh, it shows random uh, located graphical windows uh, comprising a not very funny uh, message. You can change the message or you can do whatever you want. So as you can see, this is a very uh, simple virus, but it, it's actually practical and it works. So you've got to be very careful about uh, how to run that. So I hope it gives you the idea how you can use swing and, uh, and basically graphical elements uh, in Java. So. Here is our entry point, and in the main method, we basically invoke our viruses structure. So, and then we can uh, put them in an infinitive loop. Uh, here, here is an infinitive loop that uh, actually um, doesn't stop this crazy operation. So, because I want to test it on my own machine, um, and I need to record the video. I am going to basically change the code a little bit here. Okay, now is the time for compiling and running our virus. So, uh, because if I put this on wide, as I stated before, it's gonna be dangerous and doesn't allow me to record the video because it totally interrupt me, I uh, temporarily put it in a, a limited loop. So I define a... Uh, for loop and instead of a uh, while but of course later on you can remove this part and run it on a while if you have a sandbox machine or any test environment but please be careful don't run it on your current uh, machine because it can actually hurt your system so we set this with zero and then i give a number i say okay 200 it would be enough and plus plus and yeah there we go compile it okay compile successfully and now let's run this code all right so as you can see it's start to interrupt me and i can't even move anywhere yeah and so on because actually i set that on 200 so the effect is like that uh it's not so uh it's, it's not 
too huge, it doesn't interrupt me very much. But if you uh, change the for loop here to while, and then it continuously actually um, um, interrupt your screen, create multiple uh, random, uh, basically pop up windows, and you can actually do anything. And finally, you have to turn off your machine. It might also change the files because it uh, enters, you know. Uh, zero to the other programs and interval to other processes so you got to be very careful and don't run it on your typical machine so it's just for the educational purpose so I just remove this part for you and save the code and yeah that was for today so I try to show you how with a uh, simple element with graphical <coughs> and libraries and uh, a little bit of uh, creativity you can write a um, graphical layers and you can actually interrupt the whole uh, machine. So I hope you find this uh, video informative and helps you to better understand uh, Java and its applications in security to uh, be able to create a more secure uh, cyberspace. And uh, that was for today. If you like this video, please uh, Give it a like, write your comments, subscribe to my channel, and you can also support me by buying one of these uh, cool uh, t-shirts in the link down below. Thank you very much, and see you later.